Hi guys, today um, I'm here with the top 40 custom tracks of Mario Kart Wii. Right now I just picked number 40. Custom. Well, yeah, custom tracks. And number 40 is Luigi Circuit. And this track's really bland and boring, but it's just fun to race on. That's like all I have to say about it, so. And like, I went to some like custom track world guys, and I thought it was a pretty good track, like on Wi-Fi. And uh, there's lots of shortcuts because all the uh, grass areas um, have a lot. Um, there's a lot of grass areas and stuff. And that shortcut you can do so it's just playing that. So I guess I don't really need to show you the custom the shortcuts. So. On to number 39. And yeah, that last one, I forgot to do the name. It was actually called Luigi's Island. And this one's called Sparkly Road. It's, well, it looks exactly like uh, Mario Kart Wii's it's, it's a pretty good rainbow. If it was rainbow, I think it would be pretty good. It's not glitchy or anything, so it's a pretty good track. And, what, and you guys may notice that I'm actually using Peach with the moth bike. Normally I'd be using Daisy with the moth bike, but I'm, pro, but I'm not on the custom tracks. My, pro, my profiles got deleted, but only on the custom tracks, so now it will show me I have like 5,000 VR. Well, that kind of stuff. And as you saw, I took a certain route, so now I'm going to show you the next route. They're about the same, right? The one that I took might have been a little bit slower, but... So, yeah, this route... Uh, same thing, it's just that... Then it has this... That thing. And, and the road's more colorful on this side. And the straightaway might be a little bit faster, so I might I might want to take the straightaway. And yeah, in this in that sparkly road. On to number 38. And here's number 38, Swamp Cave. This was one of the older custom tracks actually. I don't know, even though I'm playing a uh, new pack, it has 184 tracks. Yeah, this tracks. Well, the scenery isn't that good, but it's pretty good at, like, for like playing on Wi-Fi and stuff. Okay, totally didn't mean to do that. Uh, that was a total accident because this track, the slopes are actually deadly because there's so many of them, which can totally just mess up your face. So, and as you saw there, I checked. And, and now about the track. Um, well, it's a pretty good track. There's some pretty nice turns. And basically, okay, that was, that was a control fail. Sorry about that. That was really, really, really bad. Sometimes I control it, that's that. And I'm using a plastic. So there's not really any shortcuts on this track. If you take some pretty tight lines, you can actually jump these gaps. But that's not really a shortcut, so yeah. That was don't pay. Yeah. What is it? Uh, and this is number 37, Green Loop. This was the best of the loops, because I liked the loops a lot, but some of them I weren't really impressed with. But this one, it, no one actually likes this loop that much, but I like the loop a lot. Because I like how it's sort of straightforward, like Ghost Valley too, and I like how it's easy to win. So if a blue shell comes, someone might laugh at them. And then if you get hit by an item, someone might lap you. So the track's a little bit crazy. And I'm gonna do all three laps, maybe even twice, because it's pretty short. It's too long. 
to go. And, uh, so yeah, this track's sort of straightforward. And on Wi Fi, I, I like to pick this one a lot. I don't know why. And that was Green Loop. And number 36 um, is Rainbow Dash Road. Yeah, I know the name. Just weird. But, but it's a pretty fun track to play on also. And there's a, a nearly impossible extra track that, but I, I think it would save a lot of time. I tried, one day I tried now and said, and yeah, this track, as you may notice, well, um, is sort of um, crazy because it's a little bit of one of, it's one of the harder custom tracks. It may not look hard, but it is hard in here. But it is hard because if you get hit by too many items, um, you're probably going to die because this track is so thin. And if you bump somebody, they'll probably almost every time fall off. Which is pretty crazy. And uh, once I went in the boot panel, and jumped outside the fence and came out right here. This is a hard shortcut. I might be able to show that, but maybe maybe not, because it was pretty hard. Like, I might never be able to do it again. I'll just back up and show you the shortcut. And if I fail, I'll probably go on to the next track, because it's a really, really, really hard shortcut. So I just can't go wrong. Because the shortcuts just like can't go over how hard it is, like this shortcut right here. What are you doing? And here's the shortcut. It's hard. Oh gosh, I tried to jump over the fence, but then I died. But then I almost died, so I like, Yeah, as you said, it was really hard, so I can't so I can't even do it anymore. So on to the next track. And here's number um, 35. This is a uh, mushroom uh, forest. It's, I mean, sunset forest, but I accidentally called it mushroom forest because there's mushrooms. And there's a really cheap shortcut that takes like no skill at all. It's actually like cheating, but you, well, it's not really cheating. I'll just show it right now because like there's no use in not taking it if you have shoes. Okay, never mind. Let me restart. I went a little bit too far on that ramp. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm gonna do that again because that was bad. And that was very bad. If I did that in a while, if I were to be on my class place. And I'd probably be in last for the entire race if I kept doing this. It's that simple, it saves that much time. And this track, pretty nice scenery. It could be better though. But I still think it's it has some pretty nice scenery. So I like how they made the boost panels. And right here, yes, this mushroom section. It's very hard to get through. As you see as you saw I had to shroom right there. It was so hard to get past. And right here, I don't get this. It says there's a gap there. There's not. Okay, on to number 34. And here's number 34. Royal, Nintendo 64 Royal Raceway. And there's only one thing I don't I, that I completely don't like about this track. There's an extremely broken shortcut that you can do with a gold. It's just so broken. All you do is you just shroom, like all the way through this grass area. Once I did it on a Wi-Fi race, and I and I came, and I went from like 12, the little custom track it was, and I went from like 12 to first. It's so weird. So I'm like, that's broken. So I don't really take it anymore unless I'm in like big trouble. And that's just how there's a ramp thing. There was a shortcut. And it's a pretty good shortcut, actually. It's 
like a small, but it's a small one. Yeah. It's like on the Luigi circuit and on Mario Race one. And as you see there, and as you see here, I'll just go in here for a second. It's not part of the normal route, but as you see in the first version of this, it looked completely weird, it didn't have any detail. And it was a bad textured castle. But it's not part of the normal route, but you can go see it if you like. If you're just messing around with time channels. So I'll get out of here now. And right there, this mu these mushrooms. Crazy. And I'm just going to take this shortcut. It's not the broken shortcut, it's a bit of a different shortcut. So, and here's number uh, 33, Pipe on the World. This track, all custom tracks are glitchy. But this is the glitchiest custom track on the wall, probably. That's why I sort of, you know, put it a little bit lower. But it's it's really it's a really creative idea, I think. So if it was not super 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 glitchy, I'd probably put this in like the top five. Yes. And it's got some pretty fun sections, but I don't like this section. Because it's all like black. It's all like and it makes no sense because you're driving on lava like don't you normally fall? And there's a shortcut here. You can skip the bridge. Well yeah, you can sort of skip it. And um I've some pretty bad memories of doing stuff on this track. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I actually have, because when I was on Custom Track World Wise and I failed the shortcut on the, the cage shortcut, and then I'm going to show you the game. Um, well, yeah, this cage shortcut, worst glitch ever. It was totally horrible. And yeah, that was pipe. Wait, I just wanted to show you guys. Um, something really funny right here. What I like to do right here is I like to try to cook the wall. And once I hit that wall, and here's number uh, 33, Pipe on the World. This track, all custom tracks are glitchy, but this is the glitchiest custom track on the wall, probably. That's why I sort of, you know, put it a little bit lower, but it's it's really it's a really creative idea I think. So if it was not super 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 glitchy, I'd probably put this in like the top five. Yes. And it's got some pretty fun sections, but I don't like this section because. It's all like black. It's all like, and it makes no sense because you're driving on lava. Like, don't you normally fall? And there's a shortcut here. You can skip the bridge. Well, yeah, you can sort of skip it. And um, I've some pretty bad memories of doing stuff on this track. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I actually have because. And so I was on Custom Track World Wise and I failed the shortcut on the, the cage shortcut on the mission of the game. And, well, yeah, this cage shortcut, worst glitch ever. It was totally horrible. And yeah, that was pipe. Wait, I just wanted to show you guys um, something really funny right here. What I like to do right here is I like to try to cook the wall. Once I hit that wall, and uh, number 32 is Chomp Valley. This track is one of the oldest custom tracks, and I still think it's one of the best. And it's harder than, than it looks, because as you'll see here, this is actually, this is one of the harder custom tracks, because these things, these, these chain chomps, they're completely in the but it, I guess it makes the track hard, so I like to a little bit. 
And this is a very long one. I like it, because then you can get off right here. And that's sort of like a shortcut. That's like a big shortcut in the lava. Well, well, I guess not if you have a balloon and it's cut off like that, but it's sort of crazy. Like, I've done that once. And it saved like 10 seconds. And this fence right here, I don't get these two fences. Skyway version 3. Uh, yeah. it's, one, it's one of the longest custom tracks ever. Uh, but it's still a pretty good custom track. It's probably one, um, and this was actually the first custom track I ever played. So that's probably one of the reasons I like it. And because of Everything here is perfect, but it's just that super long. The reason why I don't like long tracks is because sometimes if someone gets ahead, you should race it for like three minutes. Well, I guess Mario Kart we had some pretty long tracks too, like uh, Nintendo 64 Battles Castle. We'd be racing for like two minutes and 50 seconds so it's stop. That's a bit long, but still. And this track's cloud section is better than version 2. 2 because version 2 1, if you turn it on, on time travel with version 2, it sort of turns off the game and then you have to turn it back on. So that's why I don't, that's why I didn't pick the version 2. And version 3 is better overall too because it's like, I, I find it a little, um, more details. So it's a pretty good track. And right here you want to go up the middle of the ramp and so you want to go right there. And here's the cage area. It's the cage area. I just wanted to go down a little bit so I can show you what it looks like. You can do it without getting shocked, but when you get shocked, um, you, you know. Right here, I guess it blocks your finger in the shortcut. 